guys. Welcome back to Bad Bad Bowling 101 with your boy Coach C. Today we're going to be doing a ball comparison between two of the big times. The big time by Tommy Jones. The Belmo Journey by Belmo. So we got Tommy Jones versus Belmo. <laughs> right here, baby. And I'm looking so forward to throwing them both. So I'm going to say something that a lot of people haven't said. I think this ball, the big time, when you put a little bit of compound on it, which I took it up to the same thing I took this one to, so they're both at 3,000 with a little compound on them both. When you do that, they're both amazing. Benchmark ball. But what you don't realize about Ebonite is this Tommy Jones, big time, is a benchmark ball if you doctor it the right way. So that's why I wanted to do this today, just to let you guys see that when you put a little bit of compound on it play with the surface just a little bit it is benchmark worthy so we're going to throw them both we're going to have a little fun the numbers will be up here tommy jones jason belmonte you know how come we never seen a head-to-head -head match for a championship like the u.s open i hope we see it one day but in case we don't we got a heavyweight fight right here so make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe and make sure you're watching it because you might see something that you didn't think you'd see so, with that being said, let's hit the lanes. All right. So, like I said, um, like I'm saying, benchmark is where it's at. So, we have a pair with some oil on it. And we're going to get started. And the best part is, we didn't throw any practice shots. So, we're going to do this comparison. One game, one battle, no practice. Okay, so like I just said, no practice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump over to 24 with my feet. And we're going to see what it's going to do. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the big time by Mr. Tommy Jones. Who, yeah. Which is going to bring us up to the journey, Mr. Belmo. I'm going to go to 23 with this one. Oh, he's smooth sailing. Now listen, that wasn't the best shot, but it was effective. Back into Mr. Big. Mr. Tommy Jones ball. That's a better shot. Oh, no. Oof. I don't know how to feel about that. Nope. Not sure exactly how I feel about it, but you know what? Life goes on. So, let's go ahead and pick it up. Call it a day. Maybe a little, a little scary, right? Should have picked up the straight ball, but, you know. So, we're going to slide over about a half a board, I'm thinking. Whoa. Hung up just a little. I'm going to have to dig that thumb hole out just a hair. Smooth it out a little bit. But we're going to have a conversation about that. We're going to have a conversation about that. All right. Back to the big time. Oh, no, I'm going to have to move. I think I'm going to have to go to 26, 27 and roll that. Flirting with it. So now we're going to have to make that move. Definitely got to make that move. Ah! Should have threw straight at it. What can you do? All right. So back into Senor Journey. A 
It's beautiful. What is it? Velvet? Yeah. Yep, yep. Got to mess with thumb hole. Thumb hole's a little erratic. Okay, so we're going to slide over two more with the Jones ball. Big time. He's a whiz. Okay. Got to go another two. Actually, maybe we should just change the target. Jeez. Just like maybe I should throw the straight ball at it. That ain't happening. Jump. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, it was an effort. Okay. Back into the Belmo ball, the journey. Been so far so good. Beautiful. Oh, tip four. A little too high. That's on me. That's on me, baby. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick this one up. My bad. All right. So, let's see if we can't get this big time together. We're going to move slightly again. Oh, uh, I think this is going to be the winner, winner, chicken dinner, though. Yep, winner. Are you serious right now? Three straight shots. Three moves. The outcome stays the same. Okay. Try to pick it up yet again. And through, over three. Back into Senior Journey. Yep, get out. No, a little high. It's time to make a move. Yeah, let's make that move. All right, so this is turning into a, a bad, bad, bad bowling shootout. All right, so we're going to stay where we at with the big time. So, I'm going to stay where I'm at with the big time, but I'm going to change my target. Get there. There we go. Line that one up. All right, six frame with the journey. Now it's time to reline this one back up. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Back off and running. Okay. So now we just got to stay back on it with the big time. Now, guys, this big time is big time for real. I just didn't execute. I just didn't execute. So that was on me. Not the ball. But as you see, when I execute, it's not so bad. All right. So back into Senor Belmo journey. Oh, balance. But sometimes the ball is just like a he singing miss with knows where to go, right? All right, now let's see if we can't keep this party going with the big time. Just have to execute. Yes. Execution, baby. All right, so back into Senior Journey. Let's 
Sometimes when you rolling, you just rolling. All right, so back in the big time. We got to try to keep this party going big. Hold. Yes, sir. Now, I did miss three to the end um, of my missed room, but hey, we carried it. That's what matters. All right, back to the journey. Now, remember, guys, if you're thinking about getting this ball, I'm going to tell you now, it's definitely worth your time. Yes, sir. Very time. It's like hammer time, but with no dancing. Okay, guys, we're at the nitty gritty right now. The nitty gritty, right? 10th frame. So, big time has some splits, but we made a nice, pretty nice medium recovery with it. Is it keeping up with the journey? No, but can we make it a little interesting? Sure we can. So now let's try to finish strong with the big time. Flash one in the tenth. Let's keep on rolling. Okay, so here we go. Second ball in the tenth. Let's try to keep this going. Hold. Oh, that something's better get. Oh, are you kidding? Mmm, that's too chocolate. We tried to bring it all the way back, but unfortunately, we failed. But sometimes it's not how you start, and I need you guys to remember this. It's never how you start a game. It's, 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 it's how you finish it, right? Always have the confidence in yourself that you can finish anything you put your mind to, okay? So, you've seen the splits one, two, three in a row. You've seen it yourself. I could have gave up at any point in time, but I didn't. The fight in this dog is very, very strong, right? So, we finished with a 202 with all that mess. That's what it means. That's what it means to keep on fighting, guys. So, it's never how you start, only how you finish. All right, so with the, the Belmo journey. Let's go ahead and finish strong. Trouble. Trouble, I called it. Trouble. Missed a little bit outside. Trouble. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pick up this four pin. And let's finish strong. All right, let's finish strong. He man strong. This is what I expect the benchmarks to do, though. You get in a rhythm with them, you're good to go. Um, again, the Splitsville at first for the big time, I didn't give up. And then the journey, well, it does what it does. So let's finish strong. Oh, that was not strong. Glad it's over. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ball speed. If you didn't see it, it was all ball speed. But, I mean, what, 240, 242? Sound about right? Yep, 242. So, let's take a look at it and let's finish up the video. Okay, so we finished uh, 202, 242, Splitsville. Remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So, we had an opportunity, as you've seen, to score to throw um, a full game with both. I ran into some problems early with the big time, split after split after split, which is weird. I left the same exact split three different times in a row, which you got to give me credit. That's accuracy, right? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> but it's never how you start. It's how you finish. So. If you ever learn anything from watching me, don't ever give up. 
Just keep using your head. Keep adjusting, making the adjustments. And push through, right? Because if that was the start of a tournament, I would have been plus two instead of minus 40. If I'd have gave up. The journey, as you've seen this one, straight up the back of it, played inside. Um, Man, what can I say? It held in the inside. When I got it outside a little bit, it still got to where it needed to. Um, The lanes transitioned. I didn't move to end. But you know what? Next time we'll do a little better. But so here's the thing. Both of these are benchmarks for me. I'll use them both in different situations. This is in my bag all the time. This is in my tournament bag for sure. Hey, guess what? I don't have one benchmark. I don't have two. I got three. I got four. The P2, the Exponent, and these two bad boys. Now, the question I have is, which one of these will work for you? Make sure you leave it in the comments. Make sure you're going to Bolify, get you some jerseys, and using your Bad Bad Bowling 101 discount code to get your percentage off. If you're local, make sure you get in there and get your 15% off in the pro shop. Yeah, 15%, that's right. A lot of guys are using it, and they're loving it. Some people are getting two balls. Hey, you know what? With a 15% discount, how about I get two more myself? Now, make sure you're tuning in to everything that's going on. Who knows? Some of this stuff might surprise you. I'm Coach Steve. This is the big time. This is the journey. Tommy, Tommy Jones, Jason Belmonte, balls. I say get them all. This is Coach C. Have a great day.